What's up, YouTube? I am back on the mat. Uh, that's my first video since my previous one of um, a competition video that I did. So if you want, you can go ahead and check that one out. Um, it's titled Quit. Um, so in the thumbnail, it just says in big red words, quit. So this one, um, two rolls for you today. Got a brown belt first, and then I rolled with a blue belt second. Both are in the gi. So right here, I'm going to slow this down in a second because it's kind of something I picked up on. He's isolating my whole right side. He has my right collar and my right hand, and he just shoves his knee right behind the crook of my neck. So I can't, like, turn into him even if I wanted to. So um, that was something I just picked up on after looking at this video a few times. So now he's just um, kind of in a kind of side control position, and I have my knee up and tight. I don't want him to mount. So what he did was go the opposite way. So he starts to kind of advance towards my head, kind of like the north-south position. So I felt a Kimura coming, so I kind of defended by grabbing the inside of my leg. And um, now we kind of end up in a kind of, a, I guess, a, mo a modified back kind of modified back control and he's going to step over here in a second so as soon as he steps over i'm aware of arm bar possibility and mounted triangle so as soon as he went for the mounted triangle i just made sure i stuffed both arms in i don't want one arm in one arm out so he countered that with an arm bar and he's kind of belly down right now so i stepped over so that i could kind of be able to balance a little bit and not have my arm straightened out so I really wanted to come all the way around. So I kind of sped it up here because he just wanted to make sure my right ankle there was good to um, throw a toe hold on. I told him, you know, it's okay if you know, toe hold me, I'll just uh, go ahead and tap. So we rolled out of frame here, and a couple seconds he got the um, toe hold there. So we reset, and the next part of this roll that I kind of picked up on and wanted to point out was how many times and how well he stretched me out. So look at that, I'm all stretched out here. My arms is just way away from my body, and it's just not good. So he shot up a triangle here in a second. I'm fighting that arm off. Boom. And he just shot the triangle. And it was weird. This is actually the first time I've ever been caught in this type of triangle. Usually when you get triangle, you know, your shoulder is cutting off one side of the uh, blood to the brain, I guess. And then the other side is the person's leg. But this in that triangle that we just saw, my arm when it went across my face my arm actually covered my mouth and nose so i just couldn't breathe like and that was the first time i kind of panicked a little bit you saw how fast i tapped but um so back to the roll again i'm stretched out here that's never a good sign when you stretched out like that so i'm uh kind of slowed it down there to see again i'm, I'm just really just bad posture on my end so i just kind of get desperate and i try to duck my head through i try to kind of just duck my head and come out on the outside and maybe go around but uh, he ended up just throwing that leg over you saw the foot come over and boom next thing you know he's on my back and then he just I believe he went for a collar choke yeah he went for the collar choke right here I'll slow it down yeah the collar choke <laughs> right there and stepped over and uh and I tapped so we reset again here And we're going to just kind of just fight for grips. And right here, I'm like, all right, well, let me just go back to the basics. I'll try what I really was trying to, I'll slow it down here in a second, but I was trying to get my right knee through his guard and down to the mat and maybe do a back step and kind of hug the head. But he knew that already. We, I talked to him a little bit after the roll about that. So as soon as my right knee went down, boom, he just turned into a scissor sweep. So he just timed it. As soon as I dropped my weight on my right knee, he pretty much move my right knee so I didn't have anything to land on and just turned into a sweep and I like how he kept that grip right there on my right uh, sleeve because if he didn't I could have just posted up and made it a little bit harder for him to come up on top so right here I found uh, kind of a Kimura I just naturally fell into that and I'm trying to get my legs into play here but he put that knee right in my neck so I couldn't quite do that so I like this little sequence here too so I felt the arm bar I hitchhiked, spun out of that. Then he turned that right into an omoplata. <laughs> and then, I believe I tried to roll out of that. Boom, he switched right back to the arm bar. And I was, I was done. I was, I was, I was too stretched out. I couldn't, I couldn't, couldn't get out of that. Again, I think the time runs out here. 
And yeah, so the time runs out here. And I'll go right into the second roll. So again, he's a blue belt. Uh, we've rolled before. I, th I think I actually have another video up of us rolling Nogi um, on the channel. So right here, immediately I felt like a, some sort of like um, elbow slicer. A cat, I'm sorry, not a calf slicer, a uh, bicep slicer right there. So I wanted to get my right arm out of that. He dug for an underhook. You can't see it, but he has an underhook on the opposite side over there. So I countered with an overhook. I think I was going for a knee slice pass, but um, we ran into a couple other people rolling right here. So we just reset. I'll fast forward it right here. So, yeah, so we reset here. And I think I went for a loop choke here. Yeah, so I got the right hand, my right hand in his opposite column. As soon as he sat up, I was going for kind of a loop choke. But that was, that was sloppy, and I found myself I'm like, at least I fell into a pretty good position. It's kind of like a half mount type of deal. And you see I actually went from the mount to side control. I don't know. Sometimes I just feel a little bit more comfortable in side control. Um, that's kind of more so lately, but I'll actually go from the mount to side control. I feel like I have a couple more options as far as submissions that I like to go to. So here was one of them. Um, so my left hand is like in the back of his collar, and what I wanted to do was step my left leg over the head. And uh, it's kind of a nice choke there that I can get sometimes. But he did a good job of pushing my foot off of his face, and I went right back to the mount. And so from right here, I kind of felt him. He's going for the um, the trap and roll where you trap one hand, same side, leg, and roll. So I just wanted to make sure I kept my balance and it didn't allow him to get both my hand and foot on the same side track. So again, I'm just maintaining the mount, and I think I'm gonna go for Ezekiel right here, but it didn't quite work. I think he felt it coming in. So yeah, I'm going for the Ezekiel choke. You'll see he's fighting my hand. I didn't quite get it across the neck. It's kind of like on the side of his cheek, so he fought out of that there. But at least, you know, at least I'm, I'm still in a good position. And then he decided to kind of just bridge out. So. I felt the bridge, and, you know, once you feel somebody exploding like that with their arm straight up, you want to go for an arm bar. But my technique and my hips are way too high in the air. Didn't get my foot over his face, and that allowed him to kind of come up into me. So now he is in a better position than before. So I hear, I don't know the name of this position. I don't even know if it's a name for it, but I kind of felt a pendulum sweep right here. So I went right under the leg. And went for a pendulum sweep. Pendulum sweep. Um, so I think you could kind of see him flinch down. I think he thought that I was going for an arm bar. He kind of ducked his head down. He thought that my left leg was going to come over his face. But, uh, you know, I went for a sweep, luckily, this time. So right here, I'm kind of in a opposite side control. I guess I got my hips faced the opposite way. Um, and I just <laughs> kicked the camera right there to make it. Just wanted to make sure we didn't roll out of frame too many more times. So right here, I kicked my leg over back into the mount. Let's see what we do here. All right, so we're reset. Okay, so I'm trying to just, okay, yeah. I slowed it down here because I don't know what his setup was or what I did wrong or what, but he just went right for that omoplata, and I, I was in it. Like, I was expecting him to kind of reach up for the seatbelt, but he decided to turn it into a sweep. Um, I mean, obviously, I, I, I'm i not in a great position here, but I wasn't too worried about a submission on my right arm, other than maybe, like, a wrist lock, um, because the way his, his, foot, his right foot is, he really couldn't get an arm bar that I can think of. But if he put his right leg over to the other side of my face. He could have had like a mounted triangle. I like to I like to do that a lot. So I was kind of aware of that, you know, a mounted triangle or a um like a wrist lock or something like that. Kind of threw my legs up to get my legs in play. Turned it into a little scramble here. And I think the round was going to end in a second after he 
gets the side control. Oh, and I'm going to slow it down here for a second too. So as soon as he got into the mountain, he went right to the Ezekiel. I like that because a lot of times with me personally, I'll get to the mountain, kind of stabilize and make sure, you know, but he went right to the mount, right to the Ezekiel choke, and it ca caught me off guard, honestly. Like, I was close to tapping here, but um, I knew we didn't have too much time left, and it wasn't that tight. It was maybe 85 90% in there, but the time ran out. So those are my two matches. Again, thank you for watching. Follow me on Instagram, too, TV, and make sure you like, subscribe.